This is honors geometry. We're going to write and graph equations of a circle. So just like we have an equation of a line, the y equals mx plus b, we have an equation that tells you how to graph a circle. So if I asked you to graph a circle, you'd probably ask me two things. You'd probably say, how big do you want the circle and where do you want it? So how big the circle is, is the radius, and where do you want it would be the center of the circle. So let's just start with the center of the circle on the origin. So to get the length of the radius, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. From the origin, you go over x and up y to get to any point on the circle. And so from the Pythagorean theorem, we see that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So if your circle is on the origin, that's your formula for a circle, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. What if it's not at the center? So now we're going to use the distance formula. So they call the center of your circle HK. That's your XY. That's the location of the center of your circle. And the radius is still R. So if we wanted to find the length of your radius, we can find the distance between the center of the circle and any point on your circle, which would be our XY. They're going to stay as variables. So the distance formula, if you remember, is derived from the Pythagorean theorem. And it is oops, x minus x quantity squared plus y minus y quantity squared. So our x minus x, it's going to be x minus, and the center of our circle is h, so x minus h quantity squared plus y minus, and our, our y value is now called k quantity squared and that's square root, and that's going to give us the length of our radius. But let's go ahead and get rid of this square root. It's a little ugly, so we're going to square both sides. And squaring and square root are inverse operations, so that gets rid of our square root. So we're back to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So that's the equation of a circle if it's not on the origin. And it works even if it is on the origin because you're going to put zeros in here and they ended up falling out. All right, let's try a couple. All right, write the standard equation of a circle. This one's on the origin, so we can use that shortcut. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. x and y are variables. They're going to stay variables. They're all the points on the circle, so we don't have to touch that. Don't worry about simplifying or doing anything with that. And it looks like the radius is two units long, so in place of r, I'm going to put a 2. So we say x squared plus y squared equals 4. And that's it. You don't have to do anything with that. If anybody sees that, they know exactly how to graph that circle. Okay. This one, it's not on the origin. So let's see. It looks like you go over 2 and up 1, 2, 3. So our center is 2, 3. And the radius looks like it's two units long. You can see there, the radius is two. So we're going to use the other equation. That's x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. We have h and k. That's the center of our circle. We have r. And x and y stay variables. You don't have to replace those. So I'm going to say x minus h is my x value of my center, which is now two, plus y minus k, k value is my y of my center, which is 3, equals the radius squared, which is 2 squared, or 4. And you are done. There's nothing else to do. Again, if you give this to somebody, they, they will come up with this circle. All right. Now this time, it's the same thing. They just didn't graph it for us. If it's at the origin, you can take the shortcut, x squared plus y squared equals 49 or 7 squared. If it's not on the center, it's x minus a negative 4 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared equals 1 squared. We don't like that minus minus in math, so we're going to clean that up a little bit. Let's call that x plus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared equals 1 squared, which is 1. All right, let's go ahead and graph it. Now they're giving us the equation, and we're going to graph it. So the first one, number 20, 
we can see that's telling us that the center is on the origin. And this 49 is, we know, is our r squared. So to square root that, we want to see what our r is. So the square root of 49, we know, is 7. So that means we have a radius that's 7 units long. So I pretty much just go out 7 units from each of the, from the origin. And we're just going to, as best we can, sketch that circle in. Okay, may not be pretty, but it's our circle. There we go. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so this one is not on the origin. This is my x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So you can see our h, our x value of our center is positive 3 because the formula is minus, so the h is positive 3. There is no k here, so that tells us our k value is 0. And then r squared, r squared is 16, so we square root 16. That tells us our radius is 4 units. So let's go ahead and try to sketch that in as best I can. So from the origin, I go over 3, up 0. That's my center. My radius is 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to go 4 in each direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And one, two, three, four. And as best I can, I'm going to draw a circle here. All right, let's try one more. And let's do this one. But first, let me clear a spot for us. Okay. Um, so this one, it's x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So there is no h there. So again, we know our x value is going to be 0. This is y minus k. It's a positive 2. And the only way it turned positive, it must mean that our 2 is negative. So when they put it in, it was a minus negative 2, which turned into a plus. So I know that means my 2 is going to be negative. And then our r squared is 36, so we know that means our radius is 6 units. All right, let's go on our coordinate plane to over 0 down 2. So it looks like our origin is going to be right, the center of our circle is going to be right there. And it looks like we go 6 units in each direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Go over to here. Go over to here. Go down 6 if I can find that. One, two, three, four, five, six, down here somewhere. And again, as best we can, we're going to sketch that in. All right, that's all there is to it. Please try the practice problems. There's only eight questions, so I threw in a couple extra puzzles for you. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you.